Hello, it's Sarah Ayler from softlexcompany.com, and we are going to be unwrapping the Parisian Couture Design Kit today. So this kit went on sale at the tail end of last month, and um, unfortunately, I think it's almost completely sold out. There may be one kit left that James found on his desk and put back into inventory, um, but that's it. So um, I'm going to open this today. If you really, really wanted that kit, um, you better go get it right now. <laughs> I, I really think, and I don't even know that it's still there, but if it is, you can grab it right now and that's it. Um, so our next kit goes on sale today and then it will be revealed on the last Wednesday of next month. And so I'm gonna talk about that today. Let me flip up here. Hi, I'm gonna talk about that today, our brand new kit. And then we have a big event coming up with Jesse James Beads at the beginning of June. It is called the uh, Summer Pool Party Jewelry Making Supply Kit. <laughs> Let me get all the words straight. Yeah, we're going to have another um, two-day event with Jesse James Beads. It's going to be four designers. It's going to be Brittany. Um, it's going to be Deb. It's going to be me. And it's going to be Joyce from over at Just Beat It. So it's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to have a great time. You can get your supply kit now. Um, and then you get your bead kit from jessiejamesbeads.com. And I will talk a little bit more about that um, as we move forward. I do want to tell you our brand new Love is Love design kit, which is our monthly themed kit, does not have a Jesse James Beads mix in it. We're selling that separately. And in fact, we're giving it away if your order is over $55. We uh, worked with a few of our favorite companies um, outside of Jesse James Beads for this particular kit. And so the bead mix actually came from Sam's bead shop in this, uh, in this kit. You'll also notice it's a tad bit more expensive than our regular design kits. And that's because it's stuffed full of a tad more um, items. And so really cool, special items. It uh, was really a labor of love. James worked on this kit a lot. It was his uh, kind of his baby. And so we're hoping you're going to really, really love it. But if you want those Jesse James beads to match it, then you will need to either spend $55 and get them for free, or you can purchase them separately to add on to your kit. If you want more than one package, you'll need to do that as well. Um, just add an extra one into your, into your order. Hey, James. I'm so happy to see all of you. Hey, Marisol. Hey, Rosanna. Rosanna is also going to have a video with our Parisian Couture Design Kit shortly after mine. You'll be able to find it on her YouTube channel. She may have one or two projects um, to show, which is exciting. Hello. Hi, Christina. Hi, Tony. So glad all of you are here. Thanks for joining me. Let's flip back down to my hand cam and we will look at everything that's new today. And then we will be opening the Parisian design kit um, and making something today, which is exciting. Okay. So brand new kit of the month is the love is love design kit. This is a hefty kit. Um, it is jam packed full. All of our kits come with everything you need to make jewelry. They will have all of the findings. So ear wires, clasp, beads, um, it will have wire, just anything you can really think of that you might need. It will be in here, all the basics and, uh, and more. And if you want to make more than just a couple pieces of jewelry, I highly suggest you pick up some extra ear wires, some extra clasps so that you can expand because there's way more beads than there are findings. And um, you can do like a little supplemental uh, section of things and you'll be able to make tons and tons of designs from this one design kit. So this will be revealed the last Wednesday of next month. Um, and because we could not fit the Jesse James beads bead mix in, we went ahead and put that on sale today. I'm going to open this up 
and uh, show you what's in it. This is what you will get free if you spend over $55 on the website. They did a fantastic rainbow-licious job. We've got some really great little rainbow hearts. We've got all of the colors from yellow to blue to purple. Got some little rainbow tassels, super cute, some great hearts. Look at this little piece in there. Awesome. I love these little off-centered hearts too, are so cute. Yes, I see Rosanna saying rainbows. Yes, lots of rainbows. Perfect. Yeah, it's going to be really, really pretty. There's going to be a lot of color happening when you guys are designing with us in June. Our VIB group is going to look fantastic. So speaking of VIB, this is the way our kits work if this is a brand new thing to you. We do a new mystery design kit every single month. It has a different theme. This next one is Love is Love, which has a rainbow theme. And uh, here are a few basics for participating. You go ahead and buy your mystery kit. Then you join our Softlex Very Important Feeding Studio group on Facebook. And uh, please do not reveal the contents of the kit until the last Wednesday of the month. When I reveal it, then it, you are open to post your designs and videos using the kit after me. Just like Rosanna did, she scheduled her video to post right after mine. Um, and that's how you go about sharing um, your designs. And then every design you post into the Softlux VIB group is an entry to win our next kit. Congratulations to Robin, who is our big winner this month and will be getting our next kit for free. Did you guys see this in this mix too? Aren't those adorable? I love that. Oh, Robin just got here. Hey, congratulations. I was so happy to see you're the winner. Becky says cute hearts and tassels. Yes. I love it. Oh boy. <laughs> My comments are going faster than I can um, click on them. Okay, so this was the bead mix. This is for free if you spend over that $55 mark. You can also pick up a Love is Love bead strand and that is available um, on the website. Lots of fun, bright colors to mix in with the bead mix and the kit. If This is gonna be a lot of fun. The bead strands are nice because they usually provide a few bigger beads um, that may not be available you know, in the kit or the mix. So they're good to have. And then voila, <laughs> we added a new bundle. We did the whole rainbow in the ultimate paint. So um, we just got this in, this came in with your pre-orders. So if you had pre-ordered ultimate paint and pop-outs um, during the TGBE weekend, you uh, your order should be shipping today. So plan on it getting there very soon. And then when I was ordering that pre-order uh, with James, we also did a full set of rainbow colors. You can buy these individually, just like the last set, or you can buy them as a bundle and get an extra 10% off. And the colors that we chose are Garnet, which is a nice red, Rust for orange, we have okra, I love this yellow, emerald, and um, we're sending a set to Kristen, so she will be doing some lovely tutorials using these colors, lapis, and then she, she has these set from before too, so she'll still be using those as well, amethyst, and if you liked the colors that we had last time and you missed out on it, I did over order just a little bit. So there's a few extra bottles available that you can check out. 
I know, Rosanna. She said she sort of missed having the bead strand. I know. Yeah, we had so many bead strands come in that month. I ended up not ordering one. <laughs> Marisol, you tell him it's on the calendar. You are busy. Gosh darn it. It is kit day. Come on. Get with it. <laughs> All right. And we have a new set of pop outs as well. Uh, to go along with our love is love theme. So you can buy these also as a bundle or you can buy them individually. These are wood panels that you can paint with the ultimate paint and then pop out. So if you're looking for more information about these, go to our website, check it out. We have some videos from our last set of pop outs. Um, they're a lot of fun to play with. And we will be playing with these in the coming weeks. So we've got this fantastic panel, which has got a lovely moth and a beautiful love. And then this one, lots of fun stuff. And then one last one. And I was thinking how fun it would be to paint these in rainbow. So that's going to be one of my first uh, projects, which will be a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. So those are new. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have so much going on. We have a new Parisian couture trio. So if you love the colors that I'm about to open in this piece, you can grab that trio on the website as well. It has our pink rhodochrosite, red coral, and black onyx in soft flex beading wire. And that of course is a flexible beading wire. It comes in lots of colors can be knotted, can be macrame and woven, and, and of course can be used just for straight jewelry stringing as well. So you can find that on the website too. Of course, our website is softflexcompany.com. So last but not least, Pool Party is available as well. You can buy that on the website and get in on our uh, fun event with Jesse James Beads coming up June 2nd and 3rd. All right, let's get opening. <laughs> Thomas says it's only the best day of the month. I mean, come on, doesn't everybody know when it's kid day, you don't bother people? <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. This is what one of our standard kits looks like. It will always have a mixture of beads, wire, and findings. So this particular kit, it looks like we've got um, we've got a really lovely bead mix from Jesse James Beads called the Parisian Couture Bead Mix. This was custom made for this kit. You couldn't buy this on their website. They made it just for us. We do have some extras that went into the shop today. So if you missed out on the kit and you still want to get a bead mix, you can grab that with the trio and that'll kind of give you a little piece of the kit. Um, but I think there was only one kit left. I'm not sure if that even already sold out. Oh, look at that. I love these sparkle beads. Oh, I want to use those. And look at this. What a beautiful gold piece. So elegant. Definitely reads Parisian. And then we've got some really nice flat coin shapes with flowers imprinted on them. A gorgeous diamond shape. Another sparkle bead. Trying to get it to focus. <laughs> Marisol says that her favorite color is sparkle. I am uh, streaming to both Facebook and YouTube. So no matter where you're watching it, thank you for joining me. Thank you for all that watch us on replay later as well. Um, but if you're wondering who I am um, reading comments from, if it's not in your stream, it's because it's in the other place. These big ones are interesting. 
kind of digging those like for a lariat or I don't know. Maybe I should do a lariat today. That's pretty. So many pretty beads. Oh, the roses. I know you guys like these to make rings. I bet you could make like a pretty cool pendant while wire wrapping around it too in the same way you're doing it with the rings. That piece is really lovely. There's some good stuff there. Okay, next up we've got four bead strands. We've got a really lovely wavy pink clear check glass bead strand. We've got some um, beautiful, these are also check glass beads, lantern shaped check glass beads. And then we've got a two hole bead, which is always fun with our wire. And um, we've got some really beautiful glass pearls, some just kind of dainty, beautiful glass pearls. I'm kind of excited to break into those. In our findings mix, we have got a package of our two by two millimeter Softlux crimp tubes in sterling silver. They are our uh, high quality tubes, very, very pretty. And then we've got, we've got two pairs of ear wires for making earrings and a lobster class. And then a cute little wee charm. This came from our friends over at Vintage as well as the Eiffel Tower also came from them. Cute. And then we've got these two little bow uh, beads. I think these came from Tierra Cast, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And those, I love bows. Those are super cute. Okay, and then last but not least, we of course have some Softlux beading wire in there. And this time we used the Softlux in the red coral color. Um, this is my color of the year. <laughs> I've been using this color so much, um, and Kristen's been teasing me because I thought for sure red was going to be the 2022 Pantone color of the year, um, but I've been really gravitating towards it. Won't everyone just die if it's the 2023 color of the year? <laughs> I, feel like I told you all I was just a year early. Um, no, this color is really pretty. I've got 10 feet of it here. So it's a nice, generous length in a kit. This is our 019 medium diameter. So it's all purpose, great for glass, mineral, and metal. It will string any of the beads that are in the kit. I'm curious about the pearls because they're much tinier than I thought they were going to be. So we'll have to test that out. It, they may have to go on to 014. That's the only one that I'm not quite sure about. So I'm thinking I might make a lariat um, today is kind of where my head is going. So let me get some wire out and we will get moving. Oh, good. I see some first timers are here. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to grab out some wire and we are going to get going. Let's see. Cindy says, this is my very first mystery kit. Kind of funny watching Sarah open exactly what I received. Yeah. And then what's even more fun, Cindy, is when you go into the VIB group after this and people start posting so many different designs using the same kit and you get to see what everybody makes, which is a lot of fun. I'm doing a very generous piece of wire. It's probably like three feet long. I doubt I need it to be that long, um, but I'm going to go for it just in case. And then I will just cut off the extras and whatever's extra you can always use for earrings. So that's kind of a nice thing. Keep those little extra bits and pieces because they'll be useful. I'm going to get two strands because I've got these two hole beads that I think I want to incorporate in. So I'm going to grab two of those babies and then see where it takes me. So let's see. On the very end, I let me test these pearls first. 
see, will these glass pearls fit? Oh, yes, they do. Yes, that's good. <laughs> that makes me super happy. Let's see, were there any extra JG pack, G, JJB packs for this? Yes, they're on the website for sale right now. Yeah, you can get extras. Oh, good. Ro Robin already tried it. She was letting me know. I was in panic mode. Will it fit? Won't it fit? I don't know. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking it would be cute at the bottom of the necklace if I had the the Eiffel Tower and the um and the Wii. So let me grab out a crimp. I also see I have a mixture of gold and silver here. So I may be doing some some metal mixing, or I might save one for a different project. So what I'm gonna do to attach my Eiffel Tower, is I'm just gonna use one wire. I'm gonna go through the Eiffel Tower. I'm gonna connect. I'm going to leave enough space that this can really kind of wiggle around. And then I'm gonna take my second wire that I had cut and I'm going to string that back up through my crimp. So you can see I have one wire that went through and around into my Eiffel Tower back into my crimp. I have another fresh wire going through this direction that I also want to attach so that I have two strands that I can work with on my Lariat and I will um, be doing multiple things, sometimes passing through maybe one of these bigger beads with both strands. And sometimes I might use this, um, this piece here. We'll see what happens. I'm not quite sure even myself what I'm doing because that's how I like to design on the fly. Okay, I've got my magical crimpers. I'm gonna center that two by two millimeter crimp tube inside of there. You wanna make sure you have a nice, strong crimp tube. If you use a real chintzy one from like a craft store um, that's really cheap, it's very likely to break. So make sure you're using a good quality crimp. The ones in our kits are excellent quality. You can also purchase them separately on our website. They come in four different metal tones. So I've got my little square ravioli that I uh, created. Now I'm gonna go on the side and I'm gonna compress in those four corners. And then I'm gonna go around it, tightening it down and also taking that tube and making it into a beautiful little round bead that is a strong connection. Then I can come in with my cutters and just trim and trim. And the, the reason why we do these kits is because we want you guys to challenge yourselves, use beads you wouldn't normally use, use color patterns that you wouldn't normally use. Try something new, you know, that you may not normally make and, um, and see how it feels. Now, like we want to see you really push yourself a little bit. Sometimes the colors are, you know, tricky for me. I'm like, oh, I don't use these colors. In this case, not so much the colors because I love these colors. Um, but there's a lot of variety of shapes here that are interesting. And so it will be fun to kind of see how they end up interacting with each other. Okay, so this is going to be one side of my necklace, I'm pretty sure. So I'm thinking I want kind of my probably my bigger beads at the bottom. I wonder if I should start with one of these. I also have these big luscious white ones that I could start with at the bottom. 
Let me see what that looks like. Kind of a fun I'm trying to decide if that feels too big or a good size. I'm gonna move you guys just a little bit in here so I'm not working so far away. Oh, I love to hear that, Sue. Sue says, my color choices have expanded with the variety of kits I've received. I love to hear that. Let's see. Marisol says she made a YouTube video using soft looks wear and magical crimpers, and she loves saying ravioli time. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'm going to go maybe. I feel like I need a touch of red. I also have these really cute bows. Let me try the bow. Let's see what that bow looks like. I'm going to go big or go home. Use all my beads on one design here. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of love that. Yeah, that, that works for me. And I bet this bead would fit really nicely above that. I think I'm going to save this oversized bead for a different project, even though I really like it. It's kind of screaming to be used somewhere else. That's better. That is better. I kind of love these sparkle beads, but I don't know if it's going to be too much. We have such a pretty, um, a pretty image that we used as our inspiration for this kit. Let me see how this looks. That sparkle bead might just be a little too sparkle. <laughs> Do you ever have that happen? It's just a little, you love it, but it's just like, a, it's not quite working with this design. Let me try a black bead, see what that ends up feeling like. Yeah, that feels so much better. So much more chic. Okay, so I'd love to get some of those pearls on and then maybe a two hole bead. Let me see if I split and do a few pearls on each strand, how that'll feel. Of course, stringing them is going to be ever so interesting on camera. <laughs> Let's see how that feels there. Oh, good, Stacy. I yeah, it is. It is interesting to mix red and pink together, but they do work. I feel like you need to, in my opinion, and you know, we'll probably see lots of different ideas in the VIB group. I feel like you need to pick like the darker um, or the lighter colors, and then just have a touch of the other. So it's not overwhelming. Oh, I like that. I'm liking that. Now let me see how I feel if I do the two hole bead in pink. If it still feels okay. Let me see. Because I'm doing a long necklace, these wires are like ridiculous in length. There we go. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that. I'm going to follow up with some more pearls. And I'm going to do, hmm, I wonder if I just do two on the top, what that would feel like. Oh, 
Sometimes you just have to kind of mess around with it till you get the right ratio, you know? Till it's feeling good. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so I kind of want to bring my wires back together now so I can think about whether I want to do a different red bead. Maybe I want to go this direction. Let's see. The one thing you want to remember is if you only have two of these, you want to save the other one for the other side of your design. You know, you want to make sure you're using things that you can replicate on the other side if you want it to be symmetrical, or at least you have something that's going to sort of balance it when you're coming down on your other side with your lariat. Um, I'm thinking about having this be on the other side with this and then replicating the same, the same pattern. Um, I feel like this red and this red are just a little too different. So I'm gonna pop that back off and I'm gonna repeat my lantern, which I think these lanterns are stunning. They're so pretty. So that's where we're at now. And then I can decide, do I wanna repeat? I wanna do a black bead. I have this style bead that I could do, just a little smaller. I also have this more rondelle shaped, which I think I like a little better. Another lantern. Yeah, red is can be a tricky color for some people. I see Stacy saying that red is not her go-to color. You know, I have a ton of colors that are like that for me. Red is not one of them. I really like red. I, I really like fire colors. I love yellow too. Um, but I also like blues and pinks and, um, but I'd say like my more difficult color is maybe an orange. That might be a little bit trickier for me. Um, so we all have that kind of, you know, color that maybe kind of trips us up a little bit and it's fun to kind of play around with it. And Think about how you can work through that. The only thing I would say in looking at this is I wouldn't mind adding a little bit more pink in here. So I think what I would like to do, and I, I might do this off camera, is go back and add pinks in here. Let me see if I have enough pinks. I could do two on each side. So I could do it at least down here. It looks like I have this one as well that I could possibly add in down here somewhere. Um, but I think a little more pink in there would make a difference. What do you guys think? Do you think I should add more pink in? And maybe I'll just go ahead and do it right now while you're all here watching me string and restring, right? Let's see. Oh, Rosanna says yellow is a color that she has a hard time with. It, yes, last year must have been a, a good challenge for you then, Rosanna, with the color of the year. And yes, on the pink for Barbara, Stacy says give it a go. Um, Kim says orange seems a little easier than red. Oh, how interesting. Yeah, my husband's not a big fan of red. Um, he loves blues and greens. He likes um, mellow colors is what I would call those. So I'm taking off my beads. I'm going to add in the pinks. Sometimes that little extra pop will just 
make it so much better, you know, just worth the extra work to go back and make sure I've got it just the way I want it. Okay, so I've got my piece here. I'm gonna take this pink and add it with my red, and then I'll go with my black next. We go. Oh, I'm liking that. I am liking that. And here's where I did the per. Oh no, I did a red. But I need. I'm trying to think about what I need here. Do I want to add in two pinks at the bottom or just one? That's going to be my question. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I feel. I'm just going to go with two. Yeah, I'm liking that. I like that ever so slightly more. The one thing that I would love to add would be just a little bit of silver, um, like some silver spacers, because that's not in the kit. I won't add it here. But do please add anything you want to the kit materials when you're posting your designs, as long as the designs are predominantly kit materials or we can make out the kit materials in your design, it will be considered as an entry. Um, for our monthly contest. And I liked the three pearls. So I think I'm going to stick with that. I like how that looked. These big pink ones are so awesome too. Those would look lovely. Okay. And then my two hole bead. No, I kind of like the black. Are you feeling like it's throwing it off? I kind of like that black one. I'm I'm a um, big fan of a black though. I feel like this just would be too big in this particular design. Um, I'm gonna go with the black. Although I, I hear you that maybe it feels like it's throwing it off for you. Okay, I'm going to add a couple pearls on each side and then we'll be back in business. And this is how I design. I very rarely sketch something. If I'm working on a project like a specific project, then maybe I might sketch. Um, but a lot of times I just kind of play with the beads. I get them out and um, and just sort of start playing, you know, and deciding what I like and where to go next. Um, that's my that's my way. I'm loving that pink with this red wire so much. More than I thought I would, honestly. It's, it's looking pretty slick over here. Okay. So now we've added in our pink. And I've got a pretty long dangle at this point. So I think what I could probably do, I'm just going to hold it up here. What I'm thinking I might do is just crimp off the beads and then twist the wire and create my second dangle on the other side um, of the lariat. So I'm trying to think if I wanna add, sometimes with the lariat, what I'll do is I'll add my clasp here 
And that way I can clip the two together in the front um, so that it I don't have to try to tie a knot with the soft flex, although you could, um, but I don't want to kink my wire. So I'm thinking what I might do is string this here and then crimp it. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna string that on and then I'm gonna get one of those two by two millimeter crimp tubes. If you wanted to just make it one wire from here on out, you totally could. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, twist the two wires together though. So I'm coming right up next to that lobster clasp with my crimp and I've got it in the center of my crimping plier and I'm gonna go ahead and compress and that'll create a little ravioli. And then I'm gonna go in to where the corners are. Let me bring it up a little because it didn't nab down. And I'm gonna compress in those four corners and then just go around and around it, attaching it to the wire and making it into a beautiful little round bead. Okay, now I'm gonna twist my wires. You could also add some pearls up the back if you wanted. That would be kind of fun. And when you twist it, it's just going to kind of give it a fun little texture. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side, but without the lobster clasp. And I am just twisting. Ravioli. <laughs> so I hope you guys really love uh, all the fun new products that we added today. We've been working on the Love is Love kit since like December. We've got some specialty parts in it that um, that we resourced from friends that are very special to us. And we are not only going to have our regular reveal, we're also going to have an extra special party with Sam from Sam's Bead Shop and Neele Patel from Silver Silk on June 15th. And they will be getting uh, one of the kits they have contributed to the kit and will have some design ideas to share and will be beading with us on that day for a live beading party. So, And James will be with us too. Um, and I think he will be sharing a design or making something that day as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, let me see where this is at as far as length goes. So I'm going to come over to this camera. You can kind of see where things are going to fall. I feel like I want it to go just a little bit longer so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep on keeping on here I need to do a little more a little more twisting yes yeah, Sue we're glad we were able to work with Sam too he's such a special person so that is going to be really cool I might not have any extra wire. I was worried I was going to have a lot extra, but I don't know. I think I'm making a long enough piece. I'm going to use most of it, use most of it up. Okay, we're to the other side. So now I'm going to take my twisted wire and string a crimp on it and crimp it so it stays twisted like that. You could also braid it. If you have three strands, you just add in a third strand. Um, before you crimp down on the other side. Okay. 
And if you need a third hand, you can always use a bead stopper. They are so handy for things like this. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp this in place to hold my twist. Same thing as before. And then what I was thinking I might do, just to make it even easier for me to connect here to this lobster clasp, is I might leave a little opening and crimp right below it. And that way my lobster clasp can, can connect in between those two wires. And that way I won't have it slipping and sliding around and hanging in a place that I don't want it to hang in. So I'm just gonna double up my crimps, but I'm gonna leave a little space between them. I've never done this before. This is a brand new project for me. So hopefully it works, but we'll find out. That's kind of the fun of this, right? Is we try things out and then see. You could also maybe add a jump ring or something, a connector or something there that it can very easily connect to. No problem. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of space with the hope that that will give me a good connection spot. And I wanna make sure those are really solidly crimped. And now I'm gonna take this and just go ahead and, co and connect it now um, because, let's see how hard this is to get them separated because then that'll give me an idea of length, what the second side, where the second side's going to lay. Cause I may not want it to be exactly the same as the first side. You know, I think I might want it to hang up a little bit higher up here. So I'm going to modify what I've done here. Um, to to make that work so i'm thinking what i'll do is i probably want to start out with one of these and maybe that and oh, i could use that third size if i wanted to would be interesting and my other pink bead go I feel like I saw it fly off the table. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I saw it fly somewhere, but I couldn't remember if I caught it or not. Um, I do want to work those pearls in on this side too. And my two hole bead. So we might be able to figure out what I could do maybe is do the pearls and the two hole bead and then just do one more red up here at the top. That could be kind of interesting. So I'm working backwards this time. So I'm gonna string, take both wires and string the lantern shape bead. And then I'm gonna do some pearls. So I think I will replicate this side with the pearls. So I'm going to do two on each strand. I have just been so in love with pearls. I'm so excited we were able to get some into this kit. So growing up in high school, I took four years of French and I wish I could have retained it. <laughs> I really didn't. And um, I have always dreamed because of that, I've always dreamed of going to Paris and checking things out there. Cause I spent, you know, in French class, not only do you um, learn French the language, but you also try French food and watch French movies. And, you know, so I really 
took in a lot of that culture and it, I'm would love to someday get there and I have yet to do it. So one of these days, I'm going to get over there and check it out. And in the meantime, I'm just going to have to live vicariously through our design kit and wear my little Eiffel Tower charm down here at the bottom. <laughs> And do a little, like my girls do, do a little imagination and pretending. <laughs> um, let me see. What am I doing? Red. I think I do red next. And then the pink. Who's curious to see how this is going to work out? Is anybody out there wondering? If you guys love our kits, will you please click like? or thumbs up wherever you are um, and let us know that we're doing a decent job. It uh, helps our morale <laughs> when, we see, when we see a lot of good thumbs ups and shares from the work that we're doing. Okay, we got our pattern. Let's see how it looks now. I like to stop and look through the lens here. What do you guys think about that? And then I'm going to add the bow, and then I'll go ahead and crimp the wee at the bottom. These little bow beads are so cute. They're so cute. It's going to be tough to get in there and crimp. But that's okay because I've got a little extra wire hanging there. All right, let me get a crimp. Oh, a day and a half, D. That doesn't sound like long. That doesn't sound like long enough at all. <laughs> oh, good. I see some folks are loving it and liking it and think it looks great. That's great. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Cindy says, I hope you see Paris before long. It's my second favorite city after old San Francisco. Oh, well, I get to see San Francisco regularly, so I am lucky in that way. Um, we're going, we're actually going in for a, or you went in for a concert last Friday. I guess tonight's concert might be in the East Bay. I can't quite remember what my husband said, where it's located. But um, San Francisco is a beautiful, beautiful city. And I do feel very fortunate to live just right here and get to go in there on a pretty regular basis. Okay, so here's going to be the tricky part. I want to get underneath that bow. And if I can't do that, that's going to bother me. So what I'm going to try to do is get control over my crimp inside my magical crimper. We're going to see how close we can get it. And then I'm going to come up as close to that bow as I can get. But I'm going to come in a little from the side here. See that? And I'm kind of pulling down tight, so I'm getting as close as I can. It's okay if there's a little extra space there. There's nothing wrong with breathing room. And now the tricky part is going to be getting the second direction. But I know I can do it. <laughs> with perseverance, I will do it. The nice thing about Softlex is it's so forgiving. Okay. Still moving a little bit. So I'm going to get in there. And if you want, you can even kind of give it a little flat squeeze. Just to make sure it won't move anymore. And then come in. Awesome. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my second side. Oh, I should have just done it when I was crimping. What was I thinking? 
I could have just done the we too, although it might have been hard and challenging with what was going on with that bow. I wonder if I want to add a bead or something there since I'm adding another thing anyway. Hmm. Maybe I'll just add one more of these. And add my wee underneath. I think I'd be okay with that. Or will I like it better like this? Hmm. I do like it kind of matchy matchy on the bottom. Rosanna says she would add a bead. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I'll do a bead. And then I only need one, um, one strand, but I'm going to go through both. And then just one through the charm. And then back into the crimp tube. In hindsight, I would have added a bead and then crimped. But, you know, hindsight is 2020. And that's one of the difficulties or the learning lessons when you're working in, on the fly. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of eye out these two loops and make them a similar size. And you can kind of push and pull with this wire up here to make it bigger or smaller. And you just want them to be kind of similar. They don't have to be exactly the same, but similar in size. And then I can go ahead and crimp. If you don't have magical crimpers, you can also use regular crimping pliers. You can add a crimp cover if you want that rounded bead look. You would use a three millimeter crimp cover with your two by two millimeter crimp. And to wear it this way. There we go. We've got our sweet little long. I think beautiful lariat necklace and you're going to attach it right here with your lobster clasp so you can see what that looks like and then it's of course got that twisted wire up the back our soft flex beading wire is nylon coated um so it is great for wearing on your body it doesn't really um bother you know it's very soft and smooth and easy to wear and I'll probably make a pair of matching earrings with my necklace which is so big I cannot get it on the screen I have to go maybe I have to go sideways <laughs> I'll probably make a pair of matching earrings on Instagram reels or TikTok if you want to check that out and then of course you're invited if you have the kit to start posting your designs into our Softlex VIB group. I can't wait to see what all of you guys make. If you want to see some of the previous design kit challenges, you can find them on our Softlex Company um, blog. And you can find that at softlexcompany.com. There's our website right there. Um, we always, at the end of a challenge, post a lot of pictures of the designs that were put into the VIB group and then the designs that I make and Kristen uh, also makes on her free spirit beating show on Mondays. And then often we have folks like Rosanna and some other uh, designers out there that will make videos and show you how to make things with these same kits, which is pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, so you want to pick up your next mystery design kit if you want to jump on board and then you will uh, join our Softlux Very Important Beading Studio group on Facebook. And then don't reveal the kit. The next kit is Love is Love. Don't reveal it until kit day, which is the last Wednesday of the month. 
and then you get to reveal your designs, which is what everyone is invited to do now with our Parisian Couture uh, design kit. We want to see what you make with this kit. Post as many designs as you like. Each design will be considered an entry for a random drawing to uh, give away one of our next kits. Thank you, everybody. Cindy says, it's lovely and in less than an hour. Yes, for sure. I'm always like, my designs are very rarely more than an hour. <laughs> and Cindy says her first project is almost done. I'm so excited to see what you make, Cindy. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. You can follow us in a bunch of places. Let me show you this. You can follow us on our Softlex BIB Studio Facebook group. You can follow us on Instagram. We are also on Twitter. We're on Pinterest. We're on YouTube and, uh, and TikTok. So lots of different spots that you can follow us. We have unique content in each place. So it's good to kind of follow us everywhere. Um, you can always replay our videos that we do like this one will live forever on YouTube. You can always go back and watch other design challenges as well and see uh, what the kit looked like and what we ended up making. You can get your two brand new kits today. Love is Love, which will be our monthly theme kit. I'll open this the last Wednesday of next month. And then your uh, pool party jewelry making uh, kit, supply kit for our Big party with Jesse James Beats. That's going to be June 2nd and 3rd. And um, that's always a lot of fun. We've done that th two other times. We did a trick or treat uh, jewelry party with them. We did a Galentine's jewelry making party with them. And now we're doing a summer pool party. So it's going to be lovely. I hope you guys will join us for that as well. And of course, we have lots of add-ons. You can check it out. Get your free uh, Love is Love bead mix with orders over $55 at softlixcompany.com. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you to everybody who watches this on replay. Love to you all. I will post pictures of my design onto our Instagram page, and then I'll probably post another project using beads just from this kit on Instagram and TikTok. All right. So nice to see all of you and so nice to uh, spend the afternoon with you. I hope you guys are having a great week. Kristen will be back on Monday with Free Spirit Beating and I will be here next Wednesday again at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. You can find me here every single Wednesday um, for the most part <laughs> and we'll have a fun, more fun new things to do next week. Maybe I'll do some um, ultimate painting next week because a lot of you will be getting your paints and then we have our new um, rainbow colors of paint so maybe I will do some painting next week that will be fun all right I will speak with you guys all later can't wait to see what you're making start posting in the softlex vib group now um, we we will be watching to see what everybody makes with the Parisian couture design kit it is going to be so fun to see all of the different beautiful projects that you make bye everybody